Here is an ordinary wood pencil. Or is it? Let's find out. To make the Pretender pencil, you're going to need a sharp cutting tool like a box cutter or razor blade. Check out my new close-up lens I'll be using for my projects to give you a closer view of things. So we'll have our pencil and lay it down, then take your sharp cutting tool and start making cuts right at the very end of the ferrule that's the metal part of the pencil. Keep turning the pencil and cutting away, careful not to cut yourself. Once you've made that final cut, you'll end up with the ferrule and eraser and the other end of the pencil. Now it's time to clean out the inside of the ferrule, so the easiest way to do that is to use a 3 16 inch drill bit. I placed the ferrule eraser side down into my vise and tightened it up. Then slowly and carefully, I drilled out the center of the ferrule. Now you don't want to go too deep because you don't want to eat into the rubber eraser on the other side. Once you think you've drilled far enough, it's time to use your sharp cutting tool and carefully cut out the rest of the wood inside the ferrule. Now when you're done, you'll have a hollow ferrule and you can see the eraser on the other end. Now it's time to work on the second half of our pencil, and I'll be using a 5 seconds inch drill bit for this one. Now here I used a small piece of paper to protect the wood part of our pencil as I held it in place in my vise. Now this part is crucial. Using a square tool, you want to make sure the pencil is perfectly straight in the vise, and then tighten it up. I'll be using a drill and my portable drill guide to drill down through the center of our pencil. Again, slowly and carefully, I'll drill down about 2 inches into the pencil. Now when you're done, there's going to be a lot of graphite. Now you want to make sure your hands are clean for the remaining steps, so wash them up good. When you're done, you're going to have a nice hole through the center of your pencil. But you're going to need to clean out the inside, so using some cotton swabs, I peeled some cotton away to make it fit, and then clean the inside of the pencil out. You may have to do this a few times to get it completely clean. For this last step, I'm going to be using some fishing line, but you could probably use dental floss. The fishing line's a little bit better because it's stiffer. I cut a piece twice as long as the depth of the hole in the pencil, and then folded it in half. Now it's time for the magic ingredient, a drop of hot glue. Then take the fishing line with the open ends and place it down in the hot glue and hold it until it hardens. Now it's time for a small piece of paper where you'll place your secret note or answer to the meaning of life. We're going to roll that up as tight as we can, and then the very last flap we'll place inside of our fishing line loop. Continue to roll until it's nice and tight. Then insert your secret note inside your pretender pencil. Push the furl firmly on the end of the pencil, and it will fit tight. It looks exactly like a regular pencil, and nobody can tell the difference. Not even Tux the Cat. She was fooled too. And that's how to